Okay, this is the Reynolds number, so. Now, Sir Osborne Reynolds was a man of yore who liked to play with symbols that you might think of more. But he figured out a problem and acquired some fame, and now the Reynolds number bears his name. Osborne Reynolds was a man who was a physicist and an engineer in late 19th century England, and he was the one who figured out the fundamental rule as to how fluids behave when they're flowing in a pipe or around an object. And he put together a combination of elements and symbols that I'm going to try to explain to you. D stands for diameter of the pipe or diameter of the ball or diameter of the rocket. B stands for velocity. That's the velocity at which the fluid is flowing in the pipe or around an object or around a shell or submarine. Then we need some properties of the fluid. Now one of the properties is the density, but since we've already used D, we're going to use a Greek symbol, which is rho, which stands for density of the liquid or the gas. The other property of the fluids is the viscosity. And we use the Greek symbol mu because we've already used a V for this. So this is mu and it stands for the viscosity of the fluid. And we put these all together by having a D times a V times a rho over mu. And this equals a dimensionless number, which we call the Reynolds number. You take a D times a V and a rho by mu. Put them all together with a little bit of glue. Then you've got a number that'll see you through. It'll tell you what the fluid's going to do. Well, I sang it for the first time in uh, 1978 at the end of the semester. Uh, and it wasn't even a class in fluid mechanics, but just said, well, I'd just like to hear your response to this song I made up. And they burst into applause. They were surprised because they'd never had a song in class before, and not in a technical class. And then afterwards, I've sung it to uh, either the freshmen or to the students taking fluid mechanics every year that I've been at uh, Cornell. And sometimes it's sung at uh, parties, like Christmas party or other parties. Now, lots of other numbers may come to mind. Randall Schmidt and Grashoff and more of that kind. But if you've got a sticky problem and are getting in a bind, the old Reynolds number is the first one to find. One of the most unusual reactions was when I had an elderly Indian professor who was probably older than I was, he was in his 50s, who was sitting in on my course and I sang the song and he came up to me after and said that was marvelous. But so unusual I have a professor actually singing and entertaining the students. It says in India, uh, it's very different. The professor is up on a high level and the students don't ever approach him in class. They can see him afterwards, but he wouldn't ever do anything like uh, singing a song to them. But I think that was great. Now, Sir Osborne Reynolds was a man of yore who liked to play with symbols that you might think of or. But he figured out a problem and acquired some fame. And now the Reynolds number bears his name. You take a D times a V and a rho by mu. Put them all together with a little bit of glue. Then you've got a number that'll see you through. It'll tell you what the fluid's going to do. Will the syrup in the pipe flow as smooth as can be? Or be all mixed up like in a cup of tea? You enter all the numbers and press the little key on your calculator. Laminar or turbulent, the answer will be. So you take a D times a V and a rho by mu, put them all together with a little bit of glue. Then you've got a number that'll see you through, tell you what the fluids are going to do. Now, lots of other numbers may come to mind, Randall, Schmidt, and Grashoff, and more of that kind. But if you've got a sticky problem and are getting in a bind, the old Reynolds number is the first one to find. times a V and a rho by mu. Put them all together with a little bit of glue. Then you've got a number that'll see you through, tell you what the fluid's going to do. Now it's really very simple, so the profs all say, 
But the gall darn dimensions keep getting in the way. The old English system has had its day, so better switch over to SI today. Take a D times a B and a row by mu. Put them all together with a little bit of glue. And then you've got a number that'll see you through. Tell you what the fluids are going to do. Now, Sir Osborne Reynolds was a man of yore who liked to play with symbols that you might think of more. But he figured out a problem and acquired some fame, and now the Reynolds number bears his name. 